Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Naris Technologies. In today's session, we will see how to use list item in form builder and D2K form builder, how to use the list item. Then, so there are uh, different items available in D2K. We have seen how to use uh, radio buttons and how to use check boxes and let us see. In today's class, we will see how to use a list item. First, I uh, am, I will create one block, I will create one block by using uh, wizard. So, I will create one employee block. So, okay, then next. So, table or view, next. It is asking the, on which table you want to create the block. So, when you say browse, it is showing the list of tables available. From this list of tables, select the table. I want to create the block based on EMP table. So, select EMP. Next, it is showing the list of items available. From this, which items you want to add to the block? I want to add employee number, name, job, salary, commission, department number. Okay. So, I am adding these items. Number, name, job, salary, commission, department number. Next. So, the block is created. Next, create layout. So, layout means you know that canvas. So, I am creating the canvas. I am adding all the items to the canvas. Next. So, the style is palm style. You know the difference palm and tablet. For single record we use palm. For multi record we use tablet. Then next finish. So, here. So, the block is created. Okay. The block is created. So, when block is created by default for every item it creates one text item. For employee number it is created one text item. For e name it is created one text item. For job it is created one text item. For every item it is created one text item. Let us see the department number. For department number also it is created one text item. So, when it is text item you have to input. So, employee number ok we can input. Name we can input. Salary we can input, commission we can input, but department number. So, suppose here user may not be knowing the department numbers, valid department numbers. Okay. So, there are departments are some suppose say 4 or 5 departments are there, but end user may not be knowing the valid departments. So, what, what value should be entered in this text box, whether 10 or 20 or 30 or 40, he may not be knowing it. So, instead of uh, text item, so, create a list item for department number. So, I want to show the list of departments, valid departments. So, then how to create a list item for department number? Then, so select this department number, go to property palette here. So, by default, item type is set to text item, change this to list item, change this to list item. So, I changed this to list item. So, then after this add the items to this list. How to add this items to the list? So, here there is a property called elements in list. There is a property called elements in list. So, add the items and the list is are there are three types of list available. One is a pop list, another one t list, another one combo box. So, there are list styles are three, pop list, t list and combo box. So, by default it is select set to pop list and uh, list style is set to pop list and the elements. We will see the difference, what is the difference between pop list, combo box and t list and elements in list. So, then type the elements, what items you want to show when user clicks drop down arrow, when user clicks drop down arrow what items you want to show. So, I want to show the department numbers. So, one department number is 10, one is 10, next one 20, next one 30, next one 40. So, this is the elements, elements in list. So, when user clicks drop down arrow, it will show 10, 20, 30, 40. This is a database block. That means, this block is associated with one database table. But when user selects 10, what value should be inserted into database table? The same value I want to insert. 
then here there is a call list item value when user selects 10 what should be inserted into database value 10 should be inserted when user selects 20 what should be inserted 20 when user selects 30 what should be inserted 30 when user selects 40 what should be inserted 40 okay the same values i want to insert into database so one is per element is per display here this is what value so what value should be inserted into table now click this ok then i created one list item and also added some items to the list now see this this is changed to drop down arrow now i want to see the output so run this form so first compile this form next run this form now so here employee number is something 111 name is abc job is clerk salary is 5000 commission is 200 next department number i don't need to input the department number i can select the department number so here when you click this drop down arrow it is showing the list of departments available and from the list of departments select 30 from the list of departments select 30 so from the list of departments select 30 so say action save so the record is inserted into database table we can go and check so open sql plus so scott tiger server now see the record select star from emp where employee number equals to 111 so here what the department number is department number is 30 okay then i inserted this record from front end now so here the style is set to uh, pop list okay then so when it is pop list so it will show the drop down arrow then you click the drop down arrow and select okay you have to select the value from the list then but if it is combo box there is one more style called combo box if it is combo box either we can select from list item or you can select uh, you can enter the uh, department number in text item it comes with two one is text item another one list item then see this here i want to change this style to uh, combo box how to change select this go to property palette change this to list style so list style change it to combo box now run this then so some employee number some name job salary some commission next year department number now the style is what combo box either you can input the department number or you can select the department number suppose if you want to input you can type department number otherwise what we don't know the department number then what so click the drop down arrow then from this you can select the department number either you can type or you can select okay you got two options but in case of pop list compulsory you have to select you cannot type so that's why so combo box comes with two text item and list item okay then now so there is one more style what the style is called t list then t list so let's say t list if it is t list then so see run this now so this if it is t list it is showing all the department members so whichever the department number you want you select the department number so select the department number then say action save okay so this is the t list type. so it will not displayed with what drop down arrow okay so that's all this is the difference between so these three styles pop list t list and combo box but in this example we have uh, we go to what the property palette and we added the elements so by using a property elements and list and there is we have got another option what that option is programmatically also we can add we can add items to the uh, list programmatically we can get the items from the database and we can add items to this list programmatically at runtime so because uh, 
uh, what is the disadvantage of this? Suppose here some new department is added. You you may not be see that new department in this list. You may not see that new department in this list. Okay, that. So how to add the uh, items to this list programmatically? Okay, so that we'll see the, see that in the next uh, uh, session. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for watching this video.